Imagine the pain of nursing several bullet wounds sustained in a terror attack and then the government adds salt to the wounds by failing to keep its promise of paying your bills, leaving you detained in hospital for 10 days after the day of discharge. Well, that is the story of Emmanuel Omala, a delivery man who was caught in the Riverside terror attack that left 21 people dead. Omala has now struck a deal with Kenyatta National Hospital to pay 3,000 shillings every month to clear the bill. An Oxycolia reports. It is a picture that will remain in the memory of Emmanuel Omala. A lot may escape his mind, but not the touch of the unidentified man of Asian origin who gave him a shoulder after being rescued from the claws of death. His red trouser and black sweater stained with his own blood. <laughs> It was on the 15th of January and the day appeared to be ending successfully for the 21-year-old who works as a delivery man. 3 p.m. and things changed. Complication ya steamer. Kitu kama hiyo, sikuwa na juwa ni nini. Lakini kidogo ndo nikaona nikona madamu hapa hivi. Kwa migu. So ndo nikaona watu wawili wakitoke huku. Wakingi andani wakishoot. Ndo wakanza kushoot. Wakanza kuni shoot. So mikona hivyo nikajaribu. Nikataka kutoroka. So nikajaribu ku kuhedi dirisha kiyo ni toke inje. Lakini kashindika ni kawangumu. So Akaona ni kama ni mekufa, ni kafunga kupumua, alafu ndo akazidi kuenda juu, akishuti watu wengine. Nini kwa naomba, tu nikasema mungu, oh lisema kwa mba mtu wakiwa kwa shida kikuita utaitika. Kwa hivyo mini naomba, ukini okua kwa, kwa hili janga, mi nita kutumikia. Hiyo ndo niliomba na mungu wakani saidia. Hata vini nilipigo marisasi, risasi aziku, aziku, aziku fikia mfupa. Hili fikia tunyama. So nikashukuru. Upon rescue, Omala, who was shot seven times in the stomach and on the back, was rushed to the Kenyatta National Hospital for treatment. Nilika kitu, ilikuwa ziwa after one day ama two days kasi jakosea. Ndo deputy president ya kakuja. William Ruto akakuja akatuona na akasema serikali itatushughulikia. Alafu the next day pia Madam Sisi Likariuki CS wa health na Madam Amina Mohamed hao nao wakakuja wakasema watatushughulikia. The promises by the government to foot the medical bills was like an anti-inflammatory drug amid the pain from bullet wounds he had sustained in the attack. But the pain reliever from the government was just that, and the promise to have his bills taken care of vanished the moment government officials disappeared from the hospital. Senikitu imefanyika, nata likuwa ea dinje, kila mtu wanajua. Tukajua tu serikali juu, wata deputy president alitukua mitu promise watatulipia. So kidogo ndo wakatupanza kutupatia wakasema iyo ikuwa national disaster. For it to be called national disaster, ni lazima watu sitini na wafariki. 
na watu walikuwa wamekufa walikuwa 21 so kwa hivyo mzee enda jipange ulipe deni hakika nilizononeka sana maana nikalia machozi by that time his bills had accumulated to 100,000 shillings way above his reach this has brought forth a number of questions concerning the promises that were made to the victims according to them the government had promised to pay bills and according to what the dp said hospitals like knh had agreed to meet the bills of those without medical insurance many of the hospitals have offered uh, to uh, take care of the medical bills for the people who do not have insurance before being allowed to leave the Kenyatta National Hospital Emmanuel Omala had to pay 15000 shillings of the 100000 shillings owed to the hospital in the form of medical bills and with a deal that will see him pay 3000 shillings every month for the next 2 years and 4 months it looks like a tall order for a man who was shot seven times and has to do medical checkups every 2 weeks Enoxicolia Citizen TV Nairobi And we have this news literally just in mm. One of the people watching that particular story is Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja That's right committed And to actually clearing that hospital bill He has just called tomorrow. in Yep he says tomorrow he's going to clear that bill So Omala It's Christmas in February That's right Thank God What a blessing